This video will be all about the map Terrace and what you guys can do to do well every time you play this map. This map doesn't actually depend on game mode in terms of the flow and how it plays when you're playing a match on Terrace. It's a really weird map and a really fun map and I'm going to be showing you guys everything you need to know to how to completely dominate like the title says in this video. So sit back, relax and enjoy the gameplay. Yo, what is going on guys, my name is Defend the Machine and today what I've got you guys is another episode which is kind of becoming a big thing here on my channel now, a big series, what you guys are all enjoying the most called How to Dominate and what we're looking at today, if you couldn't tell by the short intro there, is the map Terrace and the map Terrace is probably one of my favourite maps in the game and this gameplay in the background is probably one of the best gameplays I've got in this game, it's a triple DNA fail, I'm just stupid when it comes to coming on these really three rapid streaks, I can get the double farm with triple time left and maybe even quad time left. But I'll always choke that triple, it'll just be something that's always in the back of my mind, like, you've never got a triple, you've never got a triple, you're going to choke, and that's just something that really bugs me, but anyways, let me know down in the comment section below as well, what makes you choke gameplays, and why do you do it, because honestly, when it comes to getting a triple, I just choke so bad. Anyways, enough about me choking gameplays, I'm sure a lot of you don't even need to hear this, or want to hear it, but anyways, what I want to say is before I get too much more into the video, that shout out Saturday, it will be ending on the 10th episode, I can't get that upload done, it turns out on a Saturday, something's cropped up every Saturday since I've started doing that and it's been really hard to get it out so I hope you guys understand but I will be doing a double shout out this week for the 8th episode of shout out Saturday and I will be doing a shout out at the end for the 10th episode where I shout all of you guys' channels out if you didn't get a shout out so it's really important that you stick tuned for the 9th episode of shout out Saturday if you all comment down below every comment gets a shout out in that episode hopefully you guys understand about that because it's just something that I won't be able to do anymore if you guys want good gameplays and good videos that I can actually achieve and make with the time that I'm given so now that that's all out the way what we can do is get straight on with the video and the first thing I want to say about the map Terrace is the spawns are so fluctuating and what I mean by that is they flip so easy you really need to pay attention to where the enemies are which is why I like to run the UAV on pretty much every map I like to see where my enemies are all the time and I like to aid that with the system hat but if you really want to dominate this map here are some of the main kill streaks. These kill streaks are obviously considered pub stomping kill streaks by a lot of people because I'm running streaker, which allows me to run four kill streaks at one time. But these kill streaks, honestly, they aren't too challenging to get if you can get on a relatively okay kill streak. If you can see, the first one's the UAV at 800 points, the second one 850 points, which is the assault drone, the third one, which is the warbird, which is 1,100 points, and then the final score streak is the bombing run with 1,125 points. Yeah, sure. At the end of the day, it is up to you entirely what you want to use and what you find comfortable to use and what works well for you when running score streaks and how many score streaks you run but this is just my advice to you because I've been getting 100 pluses upon 100 pluses back to back with these score streaks and if the most essential thing I can tell you guys it is the UAV with threat detection I cannot stress that enough I like to run extra time and threat detection and you should really be running speed as well I don't know why I don't have that on the screenshot right there it is essential to run those three score streak attachments and that particular score streak I don't tend to run support on my UAV just because I actually trust myself to get like an 8 or 9 kill streak to actually obtain it and then go on a bigger streak to obtain the rest of these score streaks which actually do a ton of damage. AI controlled score streaks are the main thing in this game especially on ground war because a lot of people honestly just try to dive on flags and they try and do what we're doing right here getting all of these score streaks and they don't even care about running blind eye half of them because half the time they expect themselves to use peripherals only so they have more slots without using blind eye to actually be the first to obtain all these streaks and cycle them in the full game. This is one of the maps where these kill streaks cycling work really well. The comeback is a really good map as well, but I recommend using them on Terrace just because you can actually position your way on the map really well. You can clear out an area, move there. On comeback, the spawns are so tight, and the map is so tight that the map is actually really hard to maneuver around without getting killed, which makes comeback a really annoying map to play with these score streaks because sometimes people call them walker tanks and you can get unlucky, and that's why care packages are always a pain. But, anyways, on this map, there is no really intelligent map based score streaks. Like, there is the sniper drone, but it's not really good if you know how to play the map. And if you're running all your score streaks anywhere, people on this map won't be able to obtain them score streaks. So you'll be able to just flush them out anywhere on the map. Honestly, guys, this tactic is a beast to use. Just run around the map using these score streaks, and especially on ground war, it's really good. A lot of people run hardline on ground war, which is kind of a mistake if you're not really good in gunfights, because toughness is essential in this game. There's so much kick when you're getting shot in this game. It is unreal. But what I want to talk about now is where to position yourself on the map. So if you're playing domination, what I like to do is keep the enemies at sea, because there's the stairs there, and you can 
control the B flag as well as looking over your shoulder as well and going back to the C flag which is why I like to run the AI assault drone because that kind of stays near me and I like to run defender on the warbird because that's kind of got my back at the same time and if you're running all that together then you're practically unstoppable honestly but the main thing to remember about this map is to use a light gun whether that's an SMG or whether it's like an AK-12 or a BAL even though these guns might be overpowered it's the best thing to use on this map because the constant spawns and the constant flips of everything and the constant teammates screwing you over and going to new flags is annoying and you've got your back covered if you can move more on the map well and if you've got all your score streaks so hopefully that covers everything and the main tip I want to give you guys about this map before I head off is people don't really like to stay inside if you notice there is a few buildings on this map but if people are camping they usually get flushed out by other people because of the constant movement and that is a key thing to remember so hopefully you all enjoyed today's video on how to dominate the map terrace I will be uploading a video for definite tomorrow I will make it tonight and upload it for tomorrow because it is a special video it is the 100th video on my channel and we're leading up to my one year anniversary being active on YouTube my channel's really weird I made it like a couple of years ago but the one active year is heading up and I'll be doing something pretty special for that but hopefully you all enjoyed today's video slap a like down below and a favorite if you loved it and I'll see you guys tomorrow in the 100th video peace out I'm a little bit of a